One of my favorite vegetarian spots is right over here on Fan Sit Long. What's going on guys? We're gonna take you on a walk through one of Saigon's most interesting and dynamic neighborhoods, Phun Yang District. It's um, very close to District 1. It's still a very central district. In my opinion, it's Saigon's coolest neighborhood. I'm gonna show you guys and I'll let you guys decide for yourself. guys this is the canal this side of the canal is Chung Sa Street this side of the canal is the cow ward of district 1 and that's Huang Sa Street both of the streets are named after the islands that Vietnam is presently contesting with China so it's an easy easy way to kind of remember it uh, Huang Sa is on the district 1 side Trung Sa is on the Phun Yang district side. So we're gonna go get lost in this neighborhood and we're gonna go see what we can find. And I'm gonna show you guys one of the reasons why I think it's a very interesting place to live and a definitely a very interesting part of Saigon. guys so the main main artery that cuts through Phun Yang district is a street called Phan Sit Long and we're gonna take you guys towards Phan Sit Long everything that's between the canal and Phan Sit Long in my opinion is the best neighborhood in Phun Yang because you have the canal so it's like a big park space with some water and then you have food heaven and food on Phan Sit Long Street so we're gonna go have a walk through some of the side streets show you the side streets and then we're gonna take you down to Phan Sit Long guys we are headed up to Phan Sit Long if you are coming to Vietnam for the first time and you're gonna be based in Saigon and you're looking to have more of a local experience but still have like a lot of convenience a lot of good food cafes restaurants it's really hard to beat uh, District Phun Yang District Phun Yang is really big guys um, this area is near Phan Sit Long it's just nothing but like cafes, restaurants, like you just have every service you could possibly imagine. It gets really hairy though around 5 o'clock with traffic, but it's still, without a doubt, one of Saigon's most interesting neighborhoods. Um, I kind of look back and I regret that we never lived over here. I actually found this area because I had gotten really sick and Michelle had gotten really sick our first couple of years here. And there's a private hospital over here called Juan Mi, and they did a really good job getting us back to health when we first moved to Vietnam. All 
All right, guys. So we are cruising along. We're heading up the Fancit Long. Uh, that's the main artery that cuts through Funyang. It's uh, basically a giant boulevard with more shops, restaurants, and cafes than you would even know what to do with. Um, like I said in the previous clip, if you're thinking of coming to Saigon, this is a great place to get started. Um, you can have a completely authentic Vietnamese experience while at the same time having every imaginable convenience available to you. It's a very, very good location. Um, at the moment, Quan Mi Hospital is experiencing uh, COVID exposure, so definitely not the place to be at the moment, but if you ever do need a good public hospital, they've saved both Michelle and my life, so we have quite a lot of love for them. Um, this right here, guys, is Fan Sit Long. This is the main, main artery. It's a tree-lined boulevard, like every imaginable restaurant, shop. We're gonna go take a little stroll down Fan Sit Long. Hey guys, what's going on? So we're on uh, Fan Sit Long, Fuyang. And uh, one of our favorite sushi spots is over here, Haru Sushi, really good. Um, another one is a uh, vegetarian restaurant, La Bovi, just around the corner here. So there's a lot of good food here. Um, there's also Korean uh, sushi, you know, heaps of food and fancy long. I like it a lot. Really interesting. guys so we are going to continue to cruise down Fancit Long and let's see what we see maybe we'll cut up some of the side streets over here have a look around um Foon Young is food heaven guys I'm telling you you got just about anything you could want here from sushi to Korean um you know there's squid noodle soup across the street there's a bunch of restaurants cafes um it's got a really interesting little layout because you have the boulevard that goes right down the middle and then on this side there's quite a lot of villas it's a very villa kind of like looking section. This side over here is the exact opposite. It's just crazy alleyways. So Foon Young is a really, really interesting little neighborhood. Um, it's definitely a little more expensive than other parts of Saigon, but you can definitely afford it if you're coming here to teach. Uh, you know, they have some luxury properties, but I think for Foon Young, Bintan, it's going to be a little more expensive than in like district two or seven still you know you're paying because you're going to have all kinds of restaurants and convenience so you know there are some advantages um if you're going to drive it's a good spot if you're not going to drive it can be difficult to get a cab over here Marts are huge supermarkets in case you guys don't already know that um, sometimes they have a lot of stuff sometimes they don't this one looks pretty big it's attached to an apartment building we're gonna go get lost in some of these little side blocks so we're on the opposite side of Fancit Long now we're on the side that's 
uh, away from the canal and more towards some of the more narrow alleyways and we're gonna go see what we can find. We're gonna go try to get lost a little in Funyang. I gotta say guys, I really like Funyang District. Um, we've been living out in D2 mostly because of air quality and it's just a lot quieter out there but whenever you you know go outside over there it's really hard to like feel like you're in Vietnam. Uh, it has advantages but in Phun Yang every day you know you're in Vietnam. You come outside every single day and you're right in the thick of all the action and I think that's really nice especially if you're first coming to Vietnam for the first time. You know, this is a great spot where you can have a really local experience and still pretty much have almost anything you would ever need at your fingertips. It's very hard to beat Funyang District. pretty easily but you can also live over here without a bike it's a very very walkable neighborhood uh, some of the little back alleys can be a little crazy we're gonna take you down one of the alleys now we're gonna see what we find all right guys we are getting into the thick of it we are in some of the back alleyway neighborhoods behind Foon Young we're walking away from the canal right now um, you never know what you're gonna see in these little back alleys everything from cafes the pet stores the restaurants the hair salons uh, so a tour, they got the bike repair. These are little mini neighborhoods, man. It's pretty amazing. Like every little alleyway is its own little community. And it's definitely an interesting spot. I want to give you guys a little bit of an idea because I see it coming up now, just how incredibly big the ESL industry is here. Even down this random alley, look at this, they're advertising for islets. So this little building here must be some kind of a language center. Somebody just set up. And you know, the other thing that's a little bit wild is you just never know what you're gonna see back here. I mean, you, you think you're in this like random alley and then suddenly you'll find some like super crazy mansion or like really, really uh, cutty, awesome hit, hidden restaurant. I definitely think if you're on the back of a bike, you know, the options for exploring in Poon Young District are just never ending. There's a lot of jobs around here. Um, when I first came to Vietnam, I was working at a kindergarten close to uh, Phu Nhang and um, on Trung Sa. What's up guys? So for those of you that are vegetarian, there's a lot of pagodas over here. So it's really easy to find good vegetarian food, really high quality. One of my favorite vegetarian spots is right over here on Phan Sin Long. Um, I think there's like pretty much food for just about anybody. Um, whether you eat meat, you eat seafood, you're a vegetarian, it's just like an endless amount of food over here. Uh, Phun Young is definitely food lover's paradise. Really good cafes. Uh, generally speaking, the people are really nice. The neighborhood is super interesting. Um, I think I can't really say enough good things about it. Probably the negatives would be traffic, um, pollution. Those are probably... And, and, uh, it's hard to get a ride here, right? It can be hard to get a ride. It's a little bit off the beaten path. Like if you're using the, the um, ride share app. 
yeah, you might have a little bit of a hard time getting a ride certain times of the day, but, and it could be a little bit expensive to get into District 1 from here, but you have everything you need right in your own neighborhood, so you don't really need to go into District 1 all that much if you're living over here. All right, guys, so here we are. We're coming out onto the main road. This is the airport road. This is uh, Fandin Lu. So as you guys can see, all the parks are taped up and closed. Everything's closed at the moment due to the outbreak. They're having a real struggle with this Indian variant. And it's a little crazy because it's all up in the factories up in the north. And it's difficult because tourism's already been destroyed. So now if they were to close the factories, I don't even know how they would be able to run the economy. I mean, without tourism and without industry i think there'd be a lot of problems here so you know it seems like they're trying to keep that running but how do you keep these factories open when this is where all the outbreaks are happening so it's getting a little hairy here guys um at the present things are getting pretty crazy for foreigners um it's becoming kind of difficult you know it's almost impossible to get an approval at this point to enter vietnam um there's a chance that things will calm down over the next few weeks the elections are over but nobody really knows what that's going to look like and you know it's really hard to say what's going to happen but i can tell you one thing if these outbreaks every time there's an outbreak it seems like it gets harder and harder on us as foreigners so you know, bear that in mind. Vietnam may be starting to become more of a destination for a place to go make your money and get out. More so than a place to just kind of linger. Alright guys, we're going to cut back into the alleyways and we're going to wrap it up over by Phan Sin Long. Uh, this is Phu Young, one of my favorite districts in Saigon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the walk. I think you're going to enjoy some of the alleys we take you through. And if you're coming to Saigon, give us a shout. If you're thinking about living out here, we'll give you the straight talk on what's really going on. And, you know, we'll try to get you on your feet and keep you as safe as possible.
you guys can see, Kunyang is alive, man. Every back alley is a community. There's all kinds of life going on. Absolutely fascinating neighborhood. I hope you guys are enjoying the walk. That was a walk through my favorite district in Saigon, Phun Young District. Definitely one of the most interesting neighborhoods in the city. Still very central, lots and lots of conveniences, lots of things that are good for an expat, but also a lot of really great local Vietnamese businesses. Really great place to position yourself if it's your first time living in Saigon. If you're thinking about coming out to Vietnam and you want some legit, honest advice, give us a shout on the Facebook fan page. We'll help you get started in this amazing country. Hey, what's up? I'm Dee from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start? You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. We help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls and problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide 
provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.